It's dark, like pitch black. Where am I? Oh, was there a power outage? Where's the circuit breaker? But why am I glowing like I've been splashed with fluorescent paint and stuck under a black light? W whatever. Hello? Is anyone here? Can I walk around? <laughs> Don't blame me if I start to collect rings floating by the ground. But ew, who knows what I could step in? It could be something like ABC gum. Uh, should I just wait for more text boxes to pop up? Jeez, I am bored. Whose message am I waiting for anyway? I apologize for the delay. Have you been here long? Whoa, a voice. I hear a voice. Delay for what? My soul to go to heaven? N no, I don't want to die yet. Please, stop being so confused. I did not intend to scare you with my words. I am Eastwar, a tome. You have fallen to the world below Celestia. I am reaching out to you to ask a favor. A tomb I knew it. I'm so dead. What do I want on my tombstone, right? Uh, what world below? Below what? Below hell? Please, Neptune, take a deep breath. You have not died. You have merely fallen unconscious. Then, Ms. Heavenly Voice, how do you know my name? I know you are in doubt, but I am Istoir. The tome that has assisted the goddesses of Celestia for generations. I stand for the world's everything, and the world is my everything. There is nothing I do not know. Plus, I created you. Of course I know your name. So, you like, gave birth to me or whatever. You're my mom. You've got kids? I see. Do... do not make it sound like that. I created, not birth. Why do you have such a disappointed tone? I understand this is a new sensation for you. I have been apart from you all for ages, locked away from this world. Okay, gotcha. So my dad locked you up and ran away with me soon after I was born. Falling, you guys. But, uh, I mean, aren't most of my origin stories like this? Nothing to worry about, or whatever. Still, I've been falling for a while now. It makes me think I'll land in some mysterious land. Um, this velocity is no joke. Wait, could I be in danger? <laughs> That's a bad thing, right? It's super bad news bears, right? <laughs> What do I do? Hey, wait! You're walking so fast! You're just slow. That's why I said you should stay behind and wait for me. Aw, but I really wanted to go with you. Huh? Oh, what are those two little blob thingies? Girls? A pair of girls? Wow! My eyesight is pretty amazing. I can make stuff out from this far away. are the villains this time around. Were you really listening? Are you sure you understand? Why so skeptical? I definitely said, oh, I see. Okay, then paraphrase what I just went over with you. Ooh, 
here comes a new challenger! I'll gladly face you, player two. Those seven whatevers don't like CPUs ruling the nations and whine a lot and say bad stuff, right? So far, so good. Therefore, I conclude that those folks are the bad guys. Ta-da! Flawless victory! You cut out the whole second half! It's not that simple! I knew you weren't listening to me! Aw, okay. You got me. Huh? Nephi gave the wrong answer? Do you mean to say that you stopped listening to me too? Um, that one girl who picks on me is the Seven Sages, right? I don't like her. And you clearly only get about half of the situation too. Fine. I'll explain again. I might even talk longer this time, so make a sandwich and listen. Aw, really? Can't we, like, mash through the boring stuff with the X button? I'm not very good at mashing. I prefer the skip function. So let's press the square button. You will listen to my plot advancing lecture! Got it? Okay. Okay. The Seven Sages are a mysterious group consisting of seven key members. Their platform advocates proper laws and claims that CPUs aren't needed to rule a nation. But there could be a clue around here somewhere. Nep-Nep, did you lose anything by chance? Maybe an ID or anything? I wish, but, you know, I can't remember anything, so... Hey, wait! I, I do remember something I'm missing! Really? What is it? Well, that's obvious. Obvious? My memory. Um, wasn't that funny? Nep nep, I don't think now is the time to be fooling around. Wait, what? I thought you were joking when you asked me if I remembered. Joking aside, let's look for some clues. What's that sound? I have a bad feeling about this. What? The ground! It's crumbling! We're fine! Ouch! I didn't expect that. They really changed the story with this remake. Wait a minute. Where's Kompa? Kompa! Where are you? Are you alright? Yes, see. I think I'm okay. Phew. It would have been a disaster if you lost your memory, too. What is... Is the last boss already appearing? I don't know who or what that thing is either. Is this the one? Right. And it doesn't just... You're going to try and fight that? That's exactly right. I've been fighting with it for a long time. Something that giant is just too much. Alrighty. Now I'm getting all fired up too. Huh? Our opponent's bigger than a skyscraper? That's perfect! In fact, bring it on! Neptune! Neptune, I'm the protag! There's no way I'll lose! I appreciate the gesture, Neptune, but this fight is mine and mine alone. It's useless to try and stop me! Hey, Big Nepsy, what's that giant broken share crystal all the way over there? That's the crystallization of the share energy that was stored within Uzume's body when she was sealed away. You guys probably don't know, but all the share crystals scattered around the world are shards of this thing. Roasty? Yo, what's up? I see. That's why they were scattered in so many places. That's why Uzume never died. Even though... Then, if we use that thing right... 
If you're here, Krusty, I bet you were sent to get in our way. Bingo. But man, she's a real slave driver. Even though I'm fine just with recording history, she really pushes me around. If she's so frickin' worried about this thing, then she should just stay here and protect it herself. Don't you guys think so too? Krusty, you can't keep doing this. Stop helping Kurame and Kokuboshi. Both dimensions are gonna be destroyed. Even if you tell me that now. You've read me, so you know too, right? You know how many beginning and ends of worlds I've recorded up until now. Also, I don't have a damn clue about what's going on because you put me in that stupid little specimen book of yours. Of course I did. It'd be fine if you were just recording history, but it's absolutely wrong to muck it up just to make things interesting. Now that I know that, I really can't let you out. Why, you... You were always saying my ability and dimension hopping was too fun to let me go, but that's how you really feel, isn't it? Uh. <laughs> that's not true at all! You're way too frickin' obvious! Now that I think about it, you sealing me away and sabotaging Affimax, you were just pretending to be a ditz about it! What? what could you possibly be talking about? Damn it all! You're playing the part of the clown this whole time! I can't believe you! You hadn't caught on? She's happy-go-lucky and always spouts nonsensical meta-jokes, but Neptune always... Hold it! Ugh. Pipe down! We're not even talking to you! Why are you yelling over there like an asshole? I'm the protagonist of this game, and we're fairly close to the climax, aren't we? But then, why is the bigger me standing out more than I am? Hasn't my narrative been super weak since being in Heart Dimension? I got beat, captured even though I was in next form. I've barely had screen time. And just when I got saved and the party split, I thought I was the main of the story. Nope, it's all about Uzume and bigger me. This is protagonist fraud at this point. I'll take this to court, I'll sue, and I'll win. Calm down, Nip. You were the protagonist for the hyper-dimension part of the story. She's right. Since you're the protagonist, you should be as tolerant as a goddess. Or at least a mother. But even though I'm the protag and face of this series, I get the cold shoulder in terms of face time and ability. And, and, and... It seems Nepsy might fall again. I don't have the confidence to pull her out of the whirlpool of delusion this time. Ah, freaking damn it! What the hell is wrong with all of you? Point is, I finally have a chance to record some interest in history. I'm not gonna let you assholes get in the way. Come, Dark White! Well, now that our strength has increased, we should think about our party organization before we search for the other treasures. Hey, Neptune! Is it just me, or is Vert more... enthusiastic than usual? Well, she has a cute little target named Bouquet. She's in an online game, after all. Oh, but I'm the main character, just so you know. <laughs> Did you see the title? Cyber Dimension Neptunia. It's not Verdia for a reason, you know. <laughs> well, in any case, Vert, it's nice of you to play with us. I'm sure we can learn a few things from you in this place. It is my pleasure, my dear Nepgear. I really am quite happy to be playing with you. And please, do not be afraid to ask any questions along the way. Thank you! I've actually never tried any mage classes before, so I'll take any advice on using a character like this. Of course. Oh, Bouquet is quite lovely, but you really are adorable, Nepgear. Goodness. Nope, she's not hiding her obsession at all. You know, Vert, you've been clinging on to Nepgear ever since we got here. Uh-oh, Uni, are you 
jealous. Yeah, are you jealous, Uni? Question mark. What? Why would I be jealous? Oh, a love triangle, huh? Wait, I'll be fighting for Nepgear too, so does that make this a love rumbus? Everybody, it all began when we were defeated by Gold Third at the exhibition matches. Please listen to the following messages from Nepgear and others. They're for you. Thank you so much for playing. I ended up showing a little bit of my naughty side, but wait, what the goodness is this script? You're not supposed to be that kind of character. Get off it, Nepgear. Just read your lines and stop messing around. Let's see, where are my lines? Oh, okay, here we go. <coughs> so, champ, was I cute enough for ya? Uh, oh, Uni, don't you get caught up in Neptune's ridiculousness. The main game isn't even over yet. Huh? Wait, so this script... I thought we were doing the thank you for playing bit that we always do at the end. No, of course not. This is the second time in the series Neptune's pulled this stupid prank. She has a talent for going wild the moment I take my eyes off of her. By the way, about that hyper-share crystal, how did you create it? Oh, about that. God, fuck! I found you! Whoa, who's this broad? Plutie, we have a visitor. <laughs> Fine, I'll tell you just this once. Seven Sieges Idol and Public Relations Manager. You may call me Abnis. <laughs> Introductory graphic text? What the heck, developers? I didn't get one when I appeared. <laughs> 